is the UVMCH Baby Head Circumference Tutorial. This is the head circumference tape that you should have received in the mail from Dr. Wen. To set this up, what you want to first do is skip this triangular cutout and go to the first oval orbital cutout. <clears throat> from the back, aka the side where there is no numbers on the flaw in the tape, you're going to want to stick the slim end of the tape through and pull it slightly. Over the black line, you're going to want to go over the area and pull through, much like sewing. For the third and last hole from the back, you are going to want to stick the tape through again and pull. At this point, the tape should be able to be pulled quite easily. From there, you're going to want to gather your helper if it is time to do it during the visit. The helper is going to be needed to hold down the baby's arm so they do not take the tape off of their forehead. When placing the head circumference tape, you're going to want to aim for a bony portion towards the lower portion, the lower base of the skull. This is where the back of the tape should go. So like this. The larger portion where the two, these two parallel triangles are visible to one another should be resting right up against the baby's forehead. Once it's in position and your helper has secured the baby's arms, you are going to want to pull the tape so that is it is tight but not painfully tight against the baby's forehead. To read the number, it is, to read the measurement, it is the number that falls right between these two triangles on the centimeter side, so this portion. You are going to want to say that out loud so that the individual conducting your virtual visit can write down the number. Once you have completed this one time, you're going to need to do it twice more. By doing so, you can simply loosen the tape, readjust the baby, and then pull it tight again and read out the measurement. This completes the head circumference tutorial for the UVMCH virtual visits.